Alright, hello. To, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Uh, we should be able to get about an hour in today. Um, well, uh, I do need to scale the graphics down or else we're going to have some big issues. As is the usual for Dragon Age Origins, running on Windows 10. Uh, the game looks great though like this, but unfortunately options video we have to go medium for medium disabling this can improve fame, frame rate sure okay <laughs> don't like doing this but uh, oh but okay well, that was weird for me. Hopefully the game's still capturing alright. I mean, it still looks good, but uh, not as good as it could be, you know. Um, let's make sure. Yeah, that looks fine. Um, let me see. Yeah. Okay, great, great. Uh, we're playing full screen now. Because um, that's pretty nice. We get all these extra skill spaces, too. So that's super nice. Uh, we talked to everybody. I think we've uh, used up uh, most of our stuff in our inventory here. Uh, we've got some stuff that we can't do anything with. So that's great. Um, I could see if I can craft anything. Mabari Crunch. I can't craft. But I've got 11 elf root and 11 flasks. What? Okay. Sweet. Uh, let's see if this guy has deep mushrooms, because we've got like a quest that we need like a million Anything I can do for you. Please, please deep help. mushrooms for. Um, what? Oh, I don't think I actually updated the stream information, did I? Um, let's do that. Duh. We're just doing Dragon Age here. I don't know what part we're on, actually. D-A-O. At least the game was right. Zero. Sorry. D A O continued. And we'll figure out which part we're on. Update information. We're stream markers. I don't know. Okay. Uh, let me see your wares, sure Bodan. Bodan. You got a backpack? Discount. All our money just goes to backpacks, you know. And what do I actually want from him? Uh, crafting deep mushrooms. Oh, never mind. He doesn't have any. So uh, that's not ideal. Cat lady hobble stick. What the heck is that? Does that go to win? Like, am I categorizing her as a cat lady? Is that old people hate or something? Is that discriminatory? Like, uh, she's very, like, the game just shoves that she's old in your face. Like, all the dialogue options are, like, making fun of her being old. And, uh, the only thing she talks about is that she's old. Like, I don't know. There's not a lot of character depth. I'd say she probably has the least character depth out of anybody. Like, uh, Zuko here has more character depth. I mean, her depth is, I'm old. Even Stannis, man, he doesn't talk a lot, but he's got a lot of character depth, too. But, uh, I'm old. I'm getting old. Don't know if I'll survive till the end of this because I'm old, you know? Like, Jesus Christ, man. Straight up, that's what she talked about last time in our dating sim stuff. So, uh, where are we going next? Uh, let's, I think we're going to Companions. Flemeth's, she seems quite eager. Okay. Summoning sciences. Um, okay, so when the library is in a better state, I need to go back there. I don't know. Mages collective. I don't know. There's a bunch of weird side quests. I'm not sure how to do them. So we'll just keep on with the main game. Seems like these just kind of pop up as we go around. I guess some of them tell us where to go. Find and activate four mystical sites of power. I think we have to wait for the circle tower to be better. 
Um, I mean, it might, maybe we just missed it or something. Um, track down and stop a small group of adventurers from giving false testimony of alleged blood mages. But I don't know where they would be. Um, this one says to go to Denerum, Brazilian Forest, and 10 bundles of deep mushrooms, man. Alright, Arl of Redcliffe. That's where we're going. That's where we're going, though. Um, who's gonna come with us? Fuck, I don't know. Are they probably gonna die? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, let's gather our party. Um, I mean, I like the idea of Leliana coming with, but, uh, fuck, I don't know. She's not very good. Um, Leliana... Alistair and uh, win for her healing. This could be a mistake. Uh, not like we've done much though. Um, Soldier's Peak, Denerum. Uh, we need to go to. So this is the only way to Redcliffe. Frostback Mountains. Okay, here we go. We're going to Redcliffe. And. Uh, I don't know stuff's gonna happen here. <laughs> uh, we're looking, tracking down. I don't even know. Logain, Terran Logain, or I bring something. Word, sire. There are demands from the Banor that you step down from the Regency. <laughs> Good thing we brought They're the stuff the down. The game would have just like crashed time. loading the cutscene, you know. It appears it will be civil war after all. But sometimes these cutscenes like look really sport. good, other times they're not like fully rendered. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be grey wardens who survived Ostagar. <laughs> oh, I don't know. But they the a lot of them. There was a whole three of us there. I have arranged for a, a solution. Oh no. With your leave. The Antipa um, crows send their regards. Uh, who's this guy? An assassin. Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> and <laughs> the most expensive. I don't trust this guy. I mean, he's an assassin, of course, so I shouldn't Just trust him. Done. You gotta pay him first. What is he wearing? He's kind of a weird looking assassin. Like, is he gonna slay you? You know? Assassinate you with his looks or something? Is that the angle this guy takes? I guess we'll find out. Uh, that's what Alistair tried doing. Look, uh, can we if you wanna know how that ended up, you'd have to watch to the last something. dating scene. I, um, <laughs> I should probably have told you earlier. Uh, I'm not going to like this, am I? Let me guess, you're an idiot. <laughs> yes, that's right. I stopped you to tell you that I'm an idiot. Whew. Thank the maker you know already. Now I can stop worrying, I'll be found out. <laughs> uh, it will spit it out then. Um, sure. I am? That... <laughs> no, no, Shit. never mind that. I'm not trying to be cute. <laughs> we just put him on his Listen, toes. <laughs> I told you before how I'll be oh God. Me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in. The reason he did that was uh -uh. because, well, because my father was King Marit. Oh, so he's a bastard. Which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Okay. Uh, so you're not... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I guess it does it. Jeez. I should use that line more often. I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. <laughs> I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so no, I kept uh, secret. We have no interest in Alistair, but uh, it's very strange how instantly he was direct. Even Duncan Not as direct as Alison Williams, but uh, I didn't yeah. I didn't know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I understand. I can't believe you should still have told me. Uh, I think I understand. Oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> it's not like I got special treatment for it anyhow. At any rate, <laughs> that's it. That's what I had to wow. tell you. Wow, that, those two lines were like cut way too close together. Um, you sure you're not hiding anything else? Uh, you're the heir to the throne then? Let's hope not. I'm the <laughs> son of a commoner and a grey warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's um, fine by me. 
No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. Uh oh, are we gonna lose him from the party? Is he gonna be the new king? Very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard, oh no, I, I don't want to think about that. Okay. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Uh, aren't you? As you command. <laughs> oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it. And at least like I know when I click on something, like 99 times out of 100, it's going to have the effect that I want it to have. Uh, every once in a while, though, uh, it'll do something strange. Like, I'll click on something and be like, what? That's not what I meant. But it's it's only happened once, so that's why I say 99 out of 100. Whereas, like, 50-50 in Mass Effect was like, I mean it this way, but it, uh, Shepard says it another way, and the character takes it a different way. And sometimes it's completely random. Did we pick that up? Okay. What the heck? That was weird. Alright. Uh, here we are. The village of... City of Red Cliff? Oh, no. He's here to kill us. You guys ready? Um, what skills? Actually, I need to see. Um, what skills? Uh, I mean, spells, apparently. That uh, Liliana's using. Are they all down here? I would imagine so. I mean, she's got some passive ones, too, right? One, two. Sustained. I, I would assume they're all down here. Right. Dirty fighting. Deft hands. Okay. What? Master stealth. S what? I don't know. I don't know how sh how to raise her abilities. Whatever. Hopefully she doesn't die all the time. If she does, we'll swap her out for somebody. Have you come to help us? Um, I'm unimportant business to see early men. Uh, what do you mean? Is there a problem? Uh. So you, you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? Um, what are you talking about? Heard what? There is a civil war going on. If you haven't noticed, uh. we're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting. Oh. Okay, so it's no like the Mage Tower 2.0. No no Mage Tower is taken over by so Darkspawn or Abominations, and, and we have to clear it. Now names. Castle's taken over oh, by Monsters, which is bad I, that we have her I with. Know. I'm sorry. Nobody does. Hopefully, Alistair can tank a bit better. He'll want to see you. Bantigan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far. If you'll come with me. Have we met Ben Tegan? Maybe we've seen him in a cutscene or something. I don't know. I mean, this looks like kind of like a Nordic village. Why would uh, Terran Loghain go here? I guess it's a. Ca are we in a castle or are we in the church right now? We gotta be in a church, aren't we? And it's been good. It's been like all cutscenes. Okay, this guy, that guy to the left, looks just like the uh, Sir Gregor or whatever. And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple. Friends. Thomas or Tomas? No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done. Tomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. <laughs> Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? D Alistair. It is you, isn't it? <laughs> he looks so happy to see him. This is wonderful news. Oh man, Still wonderful to see Alistair. Not for long if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed, Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. You don't believe Loghain's lies? His nephew would be the king. What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. Oh, this guy's got it. Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. 
I mean, seems like when people meet a lot of times, like, it's under not so good circumstances. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the Alright, what are the evil things going to be? Back, More dark spawn, Abominations, or something else? A bunch of Mabari. I can help you drive them back. Yeah, what evil things are you talking about? Some call them the walking dead. Okay. Returning to life with a hunger for Zombies. They hit again the next night. Each night they Do they have flesh or no? Like with Kaelin dead blood. and Logan starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. Uh, sorry, we got bigger fish to fry. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. Of course we will help. Uh, just no. No bout of this. And then, like, the game's over or something. <laughs> Is that how it would work? Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Murloc. Yes, my lord. Robert Murloc. much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. I am on my way. I want to discuss the situation with you. Tell me about yourself. Uh. Of course. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. Wow. You who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Um, the search for the urn of sacred ashes. Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send some Isolde. in search of this. Isn't Isolde event. in Skyrim? But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great. No, that's Isolde. Was one of the but it could be pronounced Isolde. You speak to him if you wish to learn more. Okay. Uh, why are you in the chantry? He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one. Who's Sir Perth? I don't mind. Is that the knight? The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense should things go amiss. Oh gosh. Um. Do, do you need more men in here with you? Should things go amiss? Should the monsters find their way in? I would prefer not to fight in the chantry, but if they come, then so must it be. We could bring some men in to stand beside me. But I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers. If Shoo. Um, what happens after this battle is over? Um, I mean, he's already kind of told us that. Hopefully, we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help. Uh, I think Eamon's probably be, probably been turned into a zombie. Um, there better be a reward after all this. Uh, yeah. Eamon would be in a better position to reward you, to be honest. Uh, what exactly are those things? Know. I know, we gotta ask about the rewards sometimes, because we're kind of short on money. ...that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. Undead, perhaps. Spirits possessing the bodies of the dead. We could be dealing with a mage, but who would do such a thing? Oh, is it Joanne? Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Um. Oh my gosh, uh, everybody approves. Because uh, we accepted the quest. What do you need? I bet Stannis would have been like, this doesn't help us with the dark spawn. Disapprove. Minus 100. Um, tell this me more about yourself. We'll be discussing personal details, don't you think? We will have to fight for our lives very shortly. Okay, so is this battle? Come up, come now. Eh? I, I beg your pardon, my lady. Where are my manners? Eh? What would you like to know? Eh? <laughs> What will you do? If Connor lives, he'll be the Arl, and I'll need to help him with it. If he's... Well, I don't want to think about that. Can you be the Arl, then, if he's dead? Are you a skilled warrior? Skilled enough to know there are many far better than myself. Hey, I mean, that's pretty smart, actually. Uh... After the first attack, I wanted to go for help, but I couldn't just leave these people. Oh, that's nice of him. up to battle Loghain, while Darkspawn loom to the south. Ban Orn. won't send anyone, so Redcliffe is on its own. Okay. Uh, do you have any family? Uh, you mean, am I married? Um, I, what? No, no, I've never had the pleasure. If I did, I'd be lucky to find a woman as lovely as yourself. Oh my gosh. Uh, flatterer. Perhaps you should stick to humans instead. Uh, very lucky. Uh. 
<laughs> Just so. Uh, that's kind of awkward. Good, then my <laughs> still safe. I was worried. How did it get to? How did it get to there? <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck? How did we? All right, that's the same stuff. Where are these screenshots being saved? Let us play. Mother Hannah. You are of uh, oh gosh, uh, dude, the mouse is always like in an awkward position. <laughs> she just like turns around. Um. Is there a reason I shouldn't help? Um, be grateful when we win the battle. Um. Uh. I will be grateful of your attempt, even if it fails. We can ask no more. Allow thanks. Me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah. Revered Mother Hannah. Oh. Which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. Surely this cannot be the entire. <laughs> the rock armor just like shooting off of her. All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Um, I would like your blessing. Uh. You would? That is, I mean, of course. I'd be happy to. Blessed art thou who exists. We've taken, like, every blessing we can get. I don't know if it'll actually help, but, uh, might as well. Okay. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. Liliana's praying. Wind's like, why are we here? And Alistair's just, like, smiling. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. Thanks. <laughs> Alright. What? Hello, old woman. Maker bless you for helping us, futile though it may be. Oh, there we go. XP on the founding of the Chantry. 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 I don't know. And they call it Chantry, so that's what it is. It's in Mass Effect where we don't know how to pronounce the planets. I'm scared, mother. When are the bad men coming? We up the wagons and taken oh, that's weird. On the road. Irina. Good day. Oh. Okay, she has a name, but can't really talk to her. Jetta. These are terrible times. Irina and Jetta. Caitlin. Old man. You just look just like the main circle mage. Sir Gregor. I'm too old to fight. No, you are not. It's frustrating to stand in here and watch the young take up arms. Well, you can protect here at least, man. If you're in here, like, take up arms. I guess probably better the kids than you, maybe. I don't know. Uh, she does not look like she's doing too well here, actually. Uh, Sorry. Am I okay, she looks better now. I'll, but, uh, be more quiet. um, are you alright? Why are you crying? Yeah, let's just ask that. Good. Those things dragged my mother away. Oh, she's like I a kid. Know okay. Her, well, I don't know if she's a kid, but everywhere. we'll assume that. To, unless the game gives us something that leads us not to. It's like a teenager. Then. We need to find Bevan. I'm so scared they got him too. But I'm like a short elf, so it like throws off my perception of everything in the game. Why would he run off? Don't worry, I'll look for him. Have you tried looking for your brother? What would you give to find him? Yeah, you need to be strong, girl. Um. He said something about saving mother. Uh oh. He's just a little boy. He went to the castle. She's gone. Grief can make us do many things that don't make any sense. I'm afraid. I, I mean, he might literally not understand that she's dead. That would be awful. Yeah, that's probably where he is. Uh, don't worry. I'll try to look for him. Thank you so much. Uh, he might be dead, which is the thing that has happened in this game. A lot of these side quests we find. Alistair does not approve of that. Uh, he says, uh, the boy's probably dead, and leave him be. Thanks, Alistair. Uh, your input was, uh, was much needed. Okay. We just, like, clipped through the door or something. I didn't click on it. Oh, boy. These people don't deserve what has happened to them. We must get to the bottom of this. You know, we don't have the men we need. And their numbers just keep Still growing each night. Coming back from the castle, Murdoch. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want to surprise what? the cat. Yes. I, I thought we needed to talk to a knight. Oh yeah, Murdoch and... Who else? We need to talk to... 
um, gain Orizamar's aid. You need to travel to deep underground to. The, okay, no, no, sorry. Red Cliff. A village under siege. Sir Perth Windmill. Okay, mayor's in the town square. Okay, perfect. Um, so you're the Grey Warden. <laughs> Blackwall here. Women Grey Wardens. Uh, I'm not here to chat. Uh, and why would you think that? Well, they do. Let's fuck this guy. <laughs> We're not giving him the time of day. That's how he's gonna approach us. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. <laughs> um, I'll see what I can do. Nobody else can do this repairs. Why does he refuse to talk to you? Probably because he's a d-hole, man. His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids. So he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. Well, if he Even wants to help her... attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. Uh oh. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. What? Uh, I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will <laughs> that do anyone then? I should have asked him if there's anything else he needs, but uh, why are there so many screenshots? <laughs> like, are they actually, well, like, good screenshots? What the heck, Zuko? What are we hearing? Smithy. Chantry. Caitlin's home. Let's just see if the boy is in here. You know what I mean? Like. Maybe he's in here. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Caitlin's brother. Are you here? Hello? Open the dresser. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, I'll come out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a side quest. Don't hurt me. I'll go back to the chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. Uh, your sister is looking for you, you know. I just didn't want to be at the chantry anymore. Everyone's scared. And I want to be brave. Yeah, very brave hiding in a closet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So what were you doing in there? Uh. I wasn't always in here. I hid when I heard you coming. I was... Well, I shouldn't tell you. It's a secret. Um. Uh. Persuade? Are you sure? Maybe I could help you. you. Could. Alright. Uh. I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. Uh, I don't think you're ready for the sword. And grandfather was a great dragon slayer. We'll take the dragon slayer sword. If I was brave like we probably can't use it yet, along with half our inventory that's just clogging up our stuff. Well, stuff. I don't know what happened there. My lips like bubbled. Uh, where is the sword now? Um, you had the right idea. You're indeed very brave. In the chest. In mother's room. Father gave me a key. But I'm not to give to anyone. Give me the key. But I could use that sword to help the village. Perhaps I could help you and your sister in return. But I can't give it to you. It was father's. Caitlin would be so mad if I did. Um, perhaps. You could? Yeah. Maybe you could give my sister money? She said if we oh, wow, money, fine. That's I mean that's a fair trade. Even if mother is dead. Um uh I'll talk to your sister about it, I promise. Oh all right. Here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. I should Th they're not even like people anymore. This guy has no idea what's Good going luck. on. How sometimes the mouse disappears. Sometimes it doesn't. All right, sweet. We just got a key. Uh, we've struggled to get keys on missions for stuff. We've struggled mightily at just opening chests. Well, 
and uh, okay uh, we needed another loading screen to go up here the green blade uh, 9.1 damage to beast okay I thought it said bears for a second I was like uh, sure requires 19 strength I used a key let's see it's probably not better than what Alistair is using because he's got a good weapon yeah it's not better and also his weapons enchanted I mean it does damage to beast and this other one does damage to dark spawn uh, it's really Merrick's blade is really a dark spawn killing thing isn't it oh man I mean this is pretty good too Duncan's sword <laughs> Zuko <laughs> stretching his legs out all right let's go uh, there's been a lot of action so far by a lot there's been none but seems like all of a sudden a battle's gonna spring up so should we go talk to her and pay her we might as well get the final quest rewards and stuff too maybe seems like Wynn has stopped casting random spells on us which is good Evan said you were the one who found him I can't possibly repay you um about the sword I found in your home the brat was more problem than he's worth uh. Evan told me about grandfather's oh. sword so you have it then yeah I do suppose it won't go to waste at least <laughs> yeah, I don't know what <laughs> he was thinking I promised perhaps I could pay you something for it uh. I have no idea what it's worth, to be honest. And you found Bevan. I couldn't ask you for money. Um. Here's a. Uh, it's a valuable sword. Um. Here's a hundred silver. Whatever. We'll give her a lot. That's, that's incredibly kind of you. Buy a you so Mabari much. crunch with it or How something. Can I ever repay you? Or if you could buy me a backpack. Uh. Well, you could have not paid me. Just stay safe, both of you. Sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Oh, everybody approves. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did we lose five gold? Oh my god. That's not how I understood that. Holy shit. Um. What? <laughs> Whoops. I thought it was 500 silver. I don't know how that works. Is it 100, 100 for each of them or something? Gosh, dude. You know, it could have said 5 gold. So I actually understood what I was giving up, but whatever. Alright. There's the smithy. Somehow I need to get in here. Hello, Waylon. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. So she's like, come on. Um, open this door or I'll break it down. Who are you? I think you've... I haven't taken anything at all. You're mistaken. I... You're not Murdoch. Who oh, I'm not a Murloc. I'm an elf. I'd prefer not to speak through a door. Um, uh, can I come in? All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. No, we won't. All right, persuasive. Bam. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Oh, no. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? That's some random comments. Uh, I do mind actually. Uh, a grey warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. What do you mean by that? You didn't sound like an elf through the door. Can't say I expected. What does an elf sound like? What? My Man, these people Owen, really hate elves. So you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Yes. Is there something in particular you wanted? Um. Phew, smells like a brewery in here. Um, what do you know about what is going on? Uh, so the smithy is closed? <laughs> Look around. 
The militia took everything they could use. We're just going in like naive, like, huh, what's going on here? We don't really know. Um. Uh, what do you know about what's going on? Are you sure you won't help me out? The militia could have taken everything. My girl, Belena. Okay, yeah, if we go this route, we can say we're, we want to go in there and help out. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. My life since my wife. Dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. So you, I will rescue you, your daughter. Um, or you could work to help save her. I'm an old man. Everyone knows we aren't making it through the night. Or are you going to save us? That's why I'm here. I intend to try. Is that so? Hmm. Maybe it's the drink talk, <laughs> but you almost sound like you believe that. I do. A world of it's a game, so I can do it. Like <laughs> Maybe. I won't say I won't die a few times. Provided we'll try and. Luckily, we can like revive each other by walking over over each other. And what if she's dead? And what about the militia? They need your help. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. And what if she's dead? Be better than going to my grave wondering. I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. Oh my gosh. What a promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. Yeah, I promise you. I'll find her. Um. We will do our best. Please believe us, friend. I'll accept that. It's <laughs> something to hope for, at least. Right then. It's random when someone else it talks. I like, I don't know if I'm going to talk or if one of my buddies are going to talk. I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. Yeah, well, you could have got them done sooner. Well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now. I do have You're ten deep mushrooms. Me. Everyone just approves. It's great. Alistair is kind of tight-lipped. Oh, gosh. So the last one was all dialogue, and that's about all this one's going to be. Zero action, zero battle. Nice to see you have some purpose. Um, let's talk business. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do you have a backpack? Can I get it for free? Because I just used, like, a whole bunch of gold. Uh, he does not have a backpack. He has armor, which I, we're supposed to wear the best armor we can, but we have no money to buy good armor. So, like, I don't understand. Also, it's very confusing. Because, like, half our guys can't even use the good stuff anyway. So, okay, no backpacks. You're useless. Get out of here. We'll quick save, just because we haven't saved for a while. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. I thought we weren't going to make it through that door. Um, hey, we did it. We just talked to him like a normal well, it person. Looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn yeah. Thing over drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. Um, we're not only ready, Murdoch. We're going to win. I still need to speak to... Sir Perth. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge to the north. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Um. Okay. Oh no, this guy doesn't. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly. Oh my gosh. Considering how drunk Owen is, we may just make it. Um. Is there anything else I can we do? Could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot. But he flat out refuses. Uh, who's Dwin? He's a trader, a dwarf. Lives near the lake. Oh. Locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need Perfect. any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience. I'm glad we talked to this guy around. again. Um, I want to discuss something else. Before sundown. 
Um, I'd like to talk about yes. Twin. What's he up to now? Uh, tell me about He's a Twin. Traitor, a dwarf. Um, Lake, thanks. Himself up in his home with some of his workers. He has says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, There's that was uh. Oh my summer. God! I'm so sorry about that. That's real bad. Um, how is morale? Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. Uh, you could rile them up, Since get them excited. Since we're to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. Wow, that's fast. That's real fast. Granted, apparently it's been a year since the game started. I don't know how long we were knocked out at Morgan's, like, encampment. Did her mom, like, uh, do experiments on us and stuff, like, with her crazy magic or whatever? Flemeth magic? Alright, I'll be back. I need to go check on something. Right. Let's hope we see morning. I hope you don't see the morning, because you're kind of a jerk. Uh, and you can write that on your gravestone or whatever. Um, where the heck are we? So we've Caitlin's home, General Store, Dwin's home, Chantry. What? Do you think the tower is ever going to get back to what it was, Wynn? I don't know. A great number of people died. It will be difficult to imagine rebuilding. That cloud hanging over everything for many years to come. Do you think you'll be there? To help rebuild, I mean, once this is all over with. I cannot say. Even if I survive this blight, I am a very old woman, Alistair. Why? Because of some <laughs> There she is. You are a Talking about woman being woman. old again. You could see that it happened. And there's I Alistair just unzipping. <laughs> like always. Or perhaps the memory I think we were pretty spot on with our description of him before. Too strong for me to face. I have a hard time believing that. Well, it's good to have <laughs> someone that believes in me, so... Now, if I could only feel the same way myself, that would be something. Oh my gosh. Hello? Lock picking. Break open the lock. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope <laughs> you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. Um I apologize. I don't mean any harm. Um you're talking to a mage, care to rephrase that? Unless you'd like. Um <laughs> You know what? In the interest of keeping my face from bursting into flame. I think I will. Uh, yeah. My name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> now, kindly tell me why you're here. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Shut up in here. Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. So you guys are just gonna hide? You're a coward. You'll die in here just as easily as you would out there. Um. <laughs> Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Um, can I can't I change your mind? Eh? Uh, either die out there or here and now. Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. Um What about a little more personal reward? Uh I'll put in a good word for you with Bon Tegan. Uh I know better than to melt with a pretty girl bats her eyes at me. How long do you think I've been doing this? Um, put in a good word for you. And what good would that do me? The Arl's probably dead. I couldn't care less what Tegan thinks of me. What else um, you got? Can we actually kill this guy if we do this? Uh, you go. I don't cut your head off. How about that? Well, that's what it comes down to, huh? Yeah. Fine. I'll go. I'm not gonna pay you because I already accidentally paid someone five gold. Uh, thank you, good man. <laughs> Spoken like someone who doesn't know me very well. Go tell Murdoch he won, and I better see you out there in the square when those creatures come. 
<laughs> oh, we'll be in the freaking castle, man. We're not going to be in the square. You got anything for us to loot in here? All right, he says he's got supplies, but that's empty. They've got like six things of bread, uh, five things of corn, and uh, some books. Um, what was their plan exactly? D nothing on their other shelves either. <laughs> All right. D <laughs> Oh man, dude, every time I go through doors, it's terrifying. We're back in... I guess we just haven't gone through doors a lot, like in a while. Alright, is this the general store? Alright, do you have a backpack? Can I spend a hundred gold on it? Um... Okay, I bet I can't open this. Allow me. Yeah, I could do that for you. can you though? Fucking hell. <sighs> Jeepers. She can't do it. I don't know. She hasn't been able to open chests in forever. Like, I don't know if we did something wrong. But, like, she can't open any chests. And, like, I don't know how to make her better at it. Like, that's the whole reason she's with us. Um, do we replace her before the fight starts? Like, replace her with someone better? Cause like that might be a good idea. Replace her with Shale or Stannis. Yeah, we haven't met a lot of dwarves so far in this. Quickly, considering how drunk hey, I got Twin out here. We may just make it. Um, I'd like to talk about Twin. Thanks for persuading him to come out here. He's I killed him. <laughs> just know it. All right. I have a good feeling about tonight. I don't. I don't at all, actually. Um. I'm getting nervous about Liliana being in the party here. Uh, we need to find the windmill. Hello. Okay, we've got some death root. And so I shall. I don't see a windmill anywhere. Okay, those aren't stairs. I thought they were stairs. Um. Hello. Anybody? All right, wooden crate. Perfect. We got some loot. Elf root. Uh, sure. I'll take it. Um, do we have Morgan with? No. She can make poison stuff, but we don't have any flasks, so... Dang it. Like, I think I need to micromanage. Lake Kalanod. No swimming. Why not? Um, because it's an invisible wall. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I guess that was a good answer. Alright, let's check this barrel. Uh, three silver. It only goes up to a hundred, apparently, and then it rolls over into gold. I wish we knew that before we gave it all up. Still kind of upset about that, but there's nothing we can do to change that now. All right, there's that house again. All right, where's the windmill? Holy buckets! Let's check this out. Um, a landmark tree. Oh. Change party. Here, I know what we need to do. Of all the... Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, how do I get up to that landmark tree and pee on it? House, smithy, tavern. There's a tavern? What? Okay, how do I get up to somewhere else? Do I go up here? I need to pee on this tree. Get my Bari dominance. Somewhere. Okay, there's the world map. House. Tavern. Okay. Good thing we looked at the map. We're about to go pee on a tree, though. Um, this is great. 
Yes, you are. Oh, but look at that tiny stubby tail. Oh. Would you like a nicer tail? I could yeah. give you a long swishy tail if you like. Just okay. Just wave of a wand and poof, tail. Let's That's who we need to talk to. No, all is still as it has been for days. And it is an unnatural stillness, as though there is um. nothing there but death. Can I not pee on the tree? The R lives, and I will not listen to your inos. Andraste is grace. Can I not pee on this tree? Are we at it? Is this it? Why is it called landmark tree? I just want to pee on it. Okay, wait. Oh no, that would have switched me over. Okay, that was a thing in the first area of the game where he peed on a tree got a thing called Mabari Dominance but uh, I guess that's not a thing anymore <laughs> I don't know house windmill alright well I thought we were gonna pee on the tree so uh, we'll get we'll get Liliana back uh, sorry Daco What? Um. Yes. Yes. What? Indeed. Okay. Why is what? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Sir Perth, like, is it gonna like auto start? I'll just explore everywhere first, and then we'll talk to Sir Perth up here. Um. <laughs> Which means pretty much nothing will have happened in this whole time we've been playing. But I mean, at the same time, there's been a lot of stuff. As you desire. Help oh a collection of embarrassing personal communications between the spoiled wealthy you're a filthy a beast such a brevity of oh oh jeez <laughs> well that's kind of all over the place there <laughs> so let's read like the lines all mixed up too so like I had to stop reading it out loud because I was like jumping all over the place reading it I don't know why <laughs> ah, it's sort of like coming home again but with more undead yeah exactly uh, all right where's this random house oh no no I have to go through here or something I don't know okay so across this bridge, the house is back across there. Was that the house that the guy was in? It's a weird little formation there. Um, what? All right, so I have to go. Oh, that's the world map. What? Okay, tavern. How do I get to the tavern? That's where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to get to tavern and house. I need to buy some deep mushrooms. Ten of them, please. What? Yes, yeah, so that's the wrong way. The tavern should be right here. Okay, there's a little path in the rocks, of course. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see. Hello there. Oh jeez, let's take that off. Lloyd. Christmas. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. Oh jeez, this is a big man. Bet you regret coming, eh? His also face though is like I mean while being a little bit large, it's kinda of thin compared to the rest of his body. Uh Uh, what do you mean? Oh, you know, evil creatures, impending doom, civil war, and the Earl's dead in the castle. Makes you thirsty. I mean, this guy's pretty concerned so, of it. Well, I think he's a zombie in the castle, you are though. Here to drink, I hope. Um, let's see what you have. Uh, who are you anyway? I need some questions answered. Fine, make them quick. Do you have any quests for me? Uh, Why? 
When them creatures attack, I lock myself in the cellar, just batten the hatches and wait it out. What's the point in getting myself killed with all the rest of them? If that makes me a coward, then... Uh, would this guy give me a quest to come see him? Eh. Uh. Eh. Uh. But Van Tegen said we didn't have to. He said, he said... Ah, fine, fine, I'll go. But okay. Okay. Just better be here when I get back. I don't want the place drunk out from under me. <laughs> Alright, we just recruited some extra random guy. Um, that works, I guess. Hello, Bella. Is that what it said? I see you got that bastard Lloyd to join the militia. It's about time he did something to help out. Uh. What's this? Puts me in charge. <laughs> Poor Lloyd will have an apoplexy just thinking about it, eh? Wow. Um, what do you know about that elf in the corner? Not much. He's very quiet. He says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit I haven't even seen the elf in the corner. Is this like Aragorn in the corner? Or something? Uh, so, how's business what been? Business? I close up, but it gives the militia a place to take their minds off tonight. Me too, I suppose. Um, shouldn't you be at the Chantry? When I lock up the tavern later on, I will be. Are you... fighting tonight? Yes, I am. That's good to hear. I didn't know that. Uh, okay. Keep safe and come back any time. I won't lock up until near sundown. Do you have any goods for me to buy, though? What can I get you? Um, I need some supplies. Fair enough. Let me see what Lloyd's doing. Uh, yeah, why didn't I have that yourself. option? Um, Mubari Crunch. There you go. Deep mushrooms. Here we go. We'll buy two of them. We're on our way. Um, requires improved herbalism. Okay. Well, I don't have the thing. So hopefully she stays alive later so we can get this. Should I buy this anyways? Zuko. What was that? I swear I heard something. Okay. What the... <laughs> oh no, it's like background talking in the game. Okay. What the heck? Wow. That's like a little bit disorienting though. Like, there's just random like background voices talking like I'd heard stuff a couple times but like not looking for company I hear you're Berwick strange seeing a fellow elf here and that's all we have in common I uh, just what does that mean not here to talk there's something about this man's demeanor uh, I don't know I have no idea what you're talking about but you do don't you I know spy when I see one. Yeah. Look, just because you're an elf doesn't mean we should be friends. I was just told to... I mean, just leave me alone. Uh, what do you mean you were just told to? Uh, I'm not going anywhere. Start talking. Nothing. Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. Uh, this will be easier if you just tell me what you're hiding. Why? But I never... Uh, oh, all right, I'll tell you. Just, just don't hurt me. I'm not gonna this hurt you. I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. Um, they never said something changed. Monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you. I swear. Well, who are they? Who hired you to do this? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He uh, said he was working for How. Arl Rendon Powell. I don't know He's who that is. Man. Are we supposed Terran to know who that is? Right oh. I didn't do anything wrong. Um. What are you supposed to watch the castle for? Oh ho. Oh. So you know how this happened. Tell me now. Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that. Oh, okay. So he got sick and turned into a zombie. Um, 
So, yeah. Know anything about these creatures. Dang it. I was hoping he would tell us. I scared that people would think I was involved. But I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick. I don't know. Yeah, sounds like they did. Yeah, okay, I guess I'm going through every option. Generally, the game hasn't had us do that. Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. Dude, those random background like voices. They're really good. <laughs> it also, like, makes me think it's coming from my house, but it's not. Um. Um. I think you should help defend Radcliffe tonight. Redcliffe. Oh, all right, I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. All right, we're recruiting all these people, and they might die. Oh my gosh, it's working out though. Uh, you could help too. You seem like to be fit and whatever. I mean, you can help. You can hold a bow at least and fire with the bow. You know, lay some traps down throw a rock or something like I know slingers are pretty good in colony survival so throwing rocks are pretty good against zombies oh my gosh I couldn't walk through that door um, I do have to wrap up here soon but uh, we'll, we'll go a little bit longer we can maybe stretch it like 15 more minutes but unless this guy wakes up then we're done but we'll see uh, alright where's this random house I think that house has to be where we talk to that guy, right? No, Dwin, that's Dwin's house. Okay, okay. Um, Alright. Okay, okay. There's a weird ladder, or bridge here. A ladder. Weirdest looking ladder I've ever seen. Uh, let's go. Uh, what? Uh, what's wrong with the lighting in here? Um. Yes. What can I do for you? Uh, nothing for now. <laughs> what? All right. I'm guessing. Oh my gosh, dude! It's like the textures didn't load in in this room, or else it's just this dark in here. Uh, you need some windows. All right. What? <laughs> I swear it's like the textures didn't load in there. Right, let's get a quick save in. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay. Oof. <sighs> yeah, it shouldn't it shouldn't crash cuz we're playing on medium. But you never know. You never know. I wish uh still I haven't modded it the game so that it would crash less and stuff and be optimized for Windows 10 and more like cores or whatever greetings gray warden i am as relieved as bantigan is to see you here bantigan i must admit i do not know how bon to an elf in your position i do not wish to be rude uh call me whatever you would call a human uh call me serana if you would eh. as you wish and thank you kindly i am sir perth <sighs> recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off find the urn? or befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Yeah, you'd well, probably be dead. Or turned. Our defense, perhaps all is not lost. Uh, is there anything I can do? When the Isle fell sick, we were at the loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, Arlesa Isold came up with a plan. Arlesa Isold. Is okay, so that's his last power. name. If found, it Zuko. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinta and hid them doing? in Ferelde. The urn's never been heard of since. Yeah. The knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us is that like looking for the Holy Grail or whatever? There, unaware of what is happening here. Um, just what was the Arl sick with? That's a pretty good question. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. Did he thirst for brains? Even that. Or blood? The Arlesa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. Um. The Arl once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was Wait. told. Wait. 
Okay, Arl is Arl short for Arlesa. I'm getting very confused here with all these abbreviations and stuff. No one can find the other knights and bring them back. Um. Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. Um, the knights left the castles defenseless. Not at all. Uh, the great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. Uh, they're probably transformed. Or they've locked themselves in a room. Uh, there's for sure some people alive in there that have locked themselves away. Um, I want to discuss something else. Is there anything I can do to help? have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Okay. Um, is there anything else you need? Comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Okay. Ask me whatever you wish. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. Carry on. I think we've already heard that. It's just different options for him to say the same stuff he already said. So I think we also completed some of the quests that they wanted us to do. But uh, we'll see. I don't understand what this guy's house is about. Like. There, he, we can't do anything in there. It's just very weird. Um, I can talk to her, see if we can get a blessing, but we already got that blessing. So, yeah, I don't know. I think we're ready to go, right? Ready to siege the castle or something. Okay. What is it you need, child? Uh, can you bless the Sir Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the maker's forgiveness for their sins. Uh, you need to become like the avatar of Andraste and uh, that's that'll make him happy. Uh what do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures. A shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is yeah. a powerful thing, you know. He's thinking. You, you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense. I will not lie to them like that. Um. Uh, if they think it helps them. I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them. Yeah. Just seems like trickery. Well, that's like Very the whole well. of religion. You have to believe, alive, isn't it? I like, what? Silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now, please. I mean, tend to these poor folk. seems like that's I'm doing exactly as intended. I, I don't think it's necessarily can... trickery. I mean, it is at the same time, but like, very weird for her to have that kind of conundrum, though. You know. <laughs> like that's how it works it's literally okay oh my gosh uh what in the world is happening in here um <laughs> all right i'm surprised with these load times i guess um the only difference between today and other days is broadcasting in 1080 instead of 720 so I'll watch back see how it looks and stuff too but uh, should be good I know this game doesn't even on high settings the game doesn't use up like much of my GPU or CPU <laughs> it's awkward moving up the stairs and like the mouse is just there not going away I'm surprised this was an actual quest. Yeah, the game seems to be struggling a little. The Knights of Red Cliff it's a check if we drop like frames or anything. Um, 
You said you wanted holy protection. To the revered mother. Has she offered anything? Yes. Eh. Must we do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. <laughs> I'm glad I could help. I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense of Lars. Eh. Is there anything else you need? Comes to mind. If you have okay. Not to the mayor, Murdoch, <laughs> Sorry, the the same options here. Than we are. Uh, carry on. You wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. I'm ready to make my stand. Do I need... To... Oh, fuck. Mother Hannah's amulets have greatly bolstered my men's confidence. You couldn't have armed us with any better than our faith. Forget Liliana on that, man. Um... There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... Uh... No, I'm ready. Wait for nightfall. Um, I guess I should maybe so save right before I do this. this time, I will be here. What a weird... <laughs> like, she disapproved, but, like, they just want something to, like, improve their faith. Like, I don't know. It's all very confusing. We're not tricking them or anything. Like, <laughs> it does the same thing as someone straight up having a cross. Like, I don't know, helps them strengthen their belief or whatever. I mean, I'm not religious at all, but, like, I'm sure, like, holding a cross, doing a rosary or whatever, like, you would believe it in more than if you're doing, like, a rosary on, like, a blade of grass or something, man. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. But I guess Liliana's like, no, hurt her or something. <laughs> there is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is um, anything planned. No, I'm ready now. Good luck to you then, and may the maker watch over us all. There's that one person we couldn't talk to and couldn't do anything with. So maybe he just refused to talk to an elf. I mean, maybe he could have helped us out, but there's nothing going on. Alright, duh. So unfortunately, we are, are like supposed to stop here. Um, we'll see what happens at the very beginning of this battle. And uh, I assume it's a battle. I mean, that's what we're gearing up towards. Some big loading, too. Uh, I guess I'm playing on full screen. Usually I'm playing on uh, 1600 by 900 or something. And we're still loading. And the game crashed. All right, then. Um, well, uh, <laughs> shit. I guess this is where we leave it off. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Cliffhanger. Alright, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> this game, I'll lower the graphics even further as we head into that cutscene. This game has such a hard time loading cutscenes. Um, at least in Windows 10. Uh, it's like a straight up, if you look on the Steam discussion page, like it's all, all about people trying to get the game to run without crashing and stuff. Generally, lowering the, gra lowering the graphics helps. And you can also install mods to fix it. But, uh, so next time... Okay, getting past this cutscene. Alright, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> what the? Goodbye. Yeah, Zuko knows when I'm saying goodbye. He's like, oh, that means we're going to go wake up the baby and I'm going to go outside. Yeah, I know. Alright, goodbye.